Um, strange one this weekend, dead rubber. Um, how do you approach it? Um, opportunity to to uh, get some some guys game time that we haven't seen maybe as much in, in the Scarlet shirt. Um, a lot of guys dot gone well in the BNI Cup for Thanetley and in the Premiership for for Thunderbury, for Quinns and for Thanetley. So, yeah. you know, it, I think it's it's disappointing that we, we're not uh, battling out for for a semi-final spot. Um, unfortunately, uh, the Saints um, yeah. put uh, put the Dragons to to uh, to uh, the sword last week and that, that ended up ruling out our chances to, yeah. to, to qualify so um, it's still important you know, we we had some momentum uh, last season from from a, a couple of good performances in the LV round this time uh, last season we, we ended up then taking that into the uh, Pro 12 and we've got a really important month coming up so uh, yes it's a, a chance to see uh, some different combinations some of the younger guys in the squad but it's also important for us to keep momentum going going into a um, four weeks of Pro 12 after this weekend. Yeah. Deacon close to coming back as well. Yeah, he'll be in in, uh, in line for selection, oh, right. which is good. So he's yeah. he's made a, a good recovery and, and probably quicker than he had recovered from his last arm injury, right. which is good. So yeah. he's trained uh, pretty much full on last week um, and he'll be available for selection this week. From, from an outsider, Simon, they'll see Samson playing regularly for you and they'll see Rodri's not starting. And not figuring much, and then obviously on the bench for Wales. How, how would there such a difference in opinions in terms of the tour? Um, the fact that they've gone with Adam to start yeah. would suggest that you know, they, they, you know Adam is a, a quality, experience, yeah. tighter prop, um, and he would be perceived to be a scrummager before a you know yeah. a player that's, that's as effective in the loose. I think. Uh, Samson is probably um, a combination of both. You know, he's yeah. he's a very good scrummager. He's also can be pretty effective in the loose. Um, and Rodri, um, once the game's broken up, would yeah. probably come into his own as a a guy that you know can can scrummage and scrummaged far far better this season. He's really developed that side of his game, but um, would be probably the 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 better loose um, tight end in the yeah. in the in the squad. So I suppose they're looking at it as um, you know, if they can get Adam through um, 50, 60 minutes, and the game breaks up a little bit, then yeah. Rodri comes into his own as a yeah. as a guy that's uh, really effective in around the park. And I think that's probably where they've looked at that. Uh, you know, Samson is 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 unfortunate not to be involved, and uh, based on his game time against yeah. uh, um, you know against certain players over the last uh, month or so, he's he's gone very well. Yeah. Um, but that's that you know that's uh, their core really, and, and you yeah. know they're fortunate that they've got they've got options to go to. Yeah. What about Rodri here though, Simon? And I mean, is it frustrating? You must be frustrated with the fact he's not getting much game time this year. Yeah, and I think we've we've always taken a bit of a longer term view right. of of his development, uh, which he he was part of that discussion when we yeah. when, when he and we decided that he was going to move to the tight end. So yeah. um, you know we're pretty comfortable uh, that we're still going along towards that uh, process and and um, it it has been accelerated yeah. down to um, selection uh, for the autumn uh, selection now for the Six Nations yeah. and, and Rodri has worked really hard at it yeah. uh, but you know we're, we're fortunate we've got uh, Samson, but we've got Jacoby here as well. Uh, Deacon coming back to fitness, so we've got yeah. a bit of depth here at the moment in that position. And Rodri, uh, to be fair to him, hasn't whinged or moaned. He's, he's, you know, he knows it's it's a longer term view, yeah. and and that's currently yeah. where we still are in terms of his longer term development as a tight end prop. You know, yeah. he's got years ahead of him, yeah. uh, and he's doing very well considering it's only months into his. Is yeah. you know probably full time move across to the other side rather than yeah. sort of dabbling with it a little bit last season. Yeah, um, Tamani came off half time. Was that pre planned or was it? It was, yeah, it was pre planned. Um, you know, unfortunately, he's had a he had a, a knee injury which uh, kept him out yeah. most of Christmas and, and the New Year. Um, so we're hoping that that was uh, you know was a chance to get him game time, but then. 
hopefully have them available for for this uh, February period. He's not injured. There's no repercussions. Nothing. Uh, nothing on his knee. No. No. He was good. Um, he just lacked a bit of game time yeah. and lacked a bit of match fitness, which uh, which yeah. probably meant that you know, we needed to to protect him a little bit at 40 minutes, just so that uh, we weren't going to risk any any injury yeah. to anything else. So he's a strong half as well in the shoulder. Yeah, he's he's our you know, he's our best um, collision forward yeah. in the club. You know, in terms of his ability to to make ground over the gain yeah. line. You know, yeah. and, and uh, you know, he's clearly a really effective ball carrier, uh, and he's he's adapted really well to that number eight role. Yeah. Um, so you know, he's, he, he's very effective for us uh, when he's fit and available, and, and that's probably our our job then is to make sure that he's available and uh, up to a, a standard conditioning wise uh, and injury wise as much as we can get him over the next four or five weeks.